Hello Pisces, this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. We're going to do a Celtic cross with the cards face down, guys, okay? Let's see. This energy around you guys. What's challenging you? What's underlying here? The recent past. Let's see. Best possible outcome there. What's coming in for you? How you're feeling about this situation? Your influence for the month? Your hopes or fears? And, okay, the overall outcome. Alright guys, let's see what's going on with you. Six of Swords, moving on. Uh, I'm getting that somebody's trying to draw you back in though. Somebody's trying to draw you back into something here. They're not wanting you to um, move on from them. What's challenging you guys is the Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. What's challenging you is change. Okay. Do you want to go back to the past or do you want to move forward? Do you want to, you know, do something else here? The Wheel of Fortune is all about um, consistent change. Okay. Doing what you feel is right and necessary because, you know, it's all about karma. What you put into something is what you get out of it. Um, so if the same thing has been happening time and time and get time and time again in a um, relationship or in a connection, if you feel like you've been going around and around in a circle with something, um, it's like what do you need to do? What do you want first and foremost? Okay, because if you don't want the same thing, then nine times out of ten, then you don't need to do the same thing. So is it um, a good idea for you to go back? Okay, is it a good idea for you to allow yourself to be drawn back in um, is the question here. Okay, because your challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. You, you, you see my finger? It's a will of fortune. There's something that needs to change in this situation because I feel you being drawn back into something. Okay. Let's see what's underlying here. The high priestess. And I think you know this. I think you have a feeling um, that there's nothing going to change if you allow yourself to be drawn back in. Okay. You have an inner knowing. You know what's best for you. And and it's, it's like nagging at you. And I think because you, your feelings are so very deep for something, for someone, that that is where the pull is coming in at. Because the swords are all about thoughts. It's all about the ego. Okay, so it's like it's a battle of wills right now between the ego and your intuition. Okay, battle. What was going on in the recent past? Oh, yeah, either there was a marriage here, um, a relationship, but definitely something that was once happy for you, a uh, very stable situation for you in the past. Um, you definitely want to go, you're thinking about it. Somebody's like pulling you back in. And, and they may not be physically pulling you back in, but I think there's a situation that's so very attractive to you right now. Okay. Something that once was. Now how you're viewing this situation is the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to it. I think you're holding on to the fact that, you know, things may have changed here, okay? 
I think you're holding on to the fact that um, this situation can be good again. It can be stable. It can be grounded. Um, you guys can have a happy home again. I think you're holding on to that. Okay. You're holding on to that. Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. The Six of Pentacles. That you would have somebody. What you want is that it's for somebody that wants to only share their time with you. Okay. Um, that's not, you know, trying to do things behind your back or, you know, feeding you with one hand and, and feeding someone else with their other hand. Um, you want somebody where it's just you and them. No third party relationships. You want reciprocity. Okay. Now what's coming in for you guys here? Huh, I don't know how that got upside down, but there's somebody here I feel that is not standing in their true character of the Queen of Pentacles. You know, this is a Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody that definitely, you know, is loyal and, and wants to be there for the other person. Um, very resourceful, very caring, um, communicative, you know, just basically um, a committed person. Okay, I'm feeling like this person is really not standing in their true form right now. Okay, I'm feeling that they want to, but this is what's coming in. This person, I feel like, you know, has not changed, whoever this is. Okay, so just take notice of that. I don't feel that this person has changed. Now, what's influencing this situation is justice. There's definitely somebody that I feel like um, probably either wants to marry you guys, definitely wants to get back together and make something right here. They want to make something right here. This is all about karma. But I don't get that this person um, is, they're, they're not functioning out of, they're not living up to their full potential. Let me just put it like that. Okay, they know that they want to to have this relationship with you guys, but they're really not there yet. I don't know if there's somebody else that or a situation that they're currently still um, involved in, but there's something you know just they're not living up to their full potential, whatever that means. Okay, either their finances are not together, maybe they're struggling. Um, you know, maybe they haven't decided fully that they really want to be committed, you know, something like that. Now, your hopes or fears. We have the Nine of Wands, but it came in reverse. Um, this is feeling very, very guarded. This is, you know, like this. This is feeling very vulnerable. Okay. Your fear is that, you know, you don't want to expose yourself. You don't want to be vulnerable in this situation. You don't want to be taken advantage of. Your fear is that you will fall, um, for lack of, of a better word, victim, you know, to this person or the situation again. The overall outcome is a three of wands here. I definitely, you know, I get that you guys are very strong. Um, I'm feeling that, you know, there you want to explore what else is out there. Okay. Again, your challenge for the month is change to not allow yourself to be drawn back into something um, because you are familiar with it. Um, if it's not what's best for you here with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, guys. So we have Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, uh, Capricorn energy, maybe Taurus, Virgo as well. Um, Aquarius is here. Uh, let's see. And... Um, yeah, that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.